In this video, I'm going to be telling you all of the chest and gold block locations for all of the different room portal types. Starting off with room portal 1, uh, there's a chest and two gold blocks. Um, the chest is located on the side of like the stone brick pillar, and you can tell the orientation of it using the stone slab at the top. So here is the stone slab, this means that this side is the front. So I just go over to the stone pillar, and there's, there's the chest. Uh, next up we have room portal 2, sometimes it's called hanging portal. There's two gold blocks, there's one up there and one there. Uh, and then the chest is at the back of the portal. Um, so again, to identify the orientation we use the stone slabs at the front. Um, so this means that there's like the staircase here. Uh, and then from here we go back 3, so 1, 2, 3, and then across 1. And this is where our chest is. Uh, next up we have room portal 3. Um, this room portal is pretty easy to, ident to identify because it's the only one where like there's two obby at the top uh, and then the chest is diagonal from it. Um, so here you would just guess either one of those two sides and then uh, find the chest. Next up we have room portal 4, sometimes called small u. Uh, this room portal has a gold block as well, and then three lava sources. There, there, and there. Um, so look out for that, because you, sometimes you can complete it. Uh, I'm not going to go over the completions now. This is just for the chest and gold block locations. Uh, but the chest, as you saw, was on the taller pillar side. So you would just dig on like either of those sides, probably. But like. If you see that, then you just know that it's uh, on this side. Uh, next up, we have room portal 5, sometimes called double L, because um, of the two L's on the room portal, I guess. Um, this room portal can have three gold blocks and a chest. There's a gold block that spawns here, a gold block that spawns here, and then a gold block that spawns under the lava. Um, and then to find the chest for this when it's buried, you first need to find the orientation. And there's not a lot that can help you. So what I use is I just use the uh, obby because there's no obby on any of the other sides. Um, and then it's just diagonal uh, two blocks from the pillar. We have room portal six next. Um, this one's very simple, just gold block, chest. So again, we do gold block. And then to find the orientation of this, we're looking for the netherrack. So you just dig until you see the netherrack. Whoops. Um, and then once you found the netherrack, the chest is always on the opposite side um, to that. Uh, next we have room portal 7, sometimes called half portal. Um, this room portal gets confused a lot with room portal 9 over there, purely because the part that sticks out, it looks just very similar. Uh, but this room portal has a chest, two gold blocks. Um, to find the chest, we just go three out from the stair. So one, two, three, there's your chest. Um, usually there'll be like sand dug out here from the lava, uh, and that's how you can tell the orientation of it, is that the chest won't be on the lava side. Um, Next we have room portal 8, sometimes called Big U. There's a chest and three gold blocks, um, two there and then one under this stair here. Um, you'll notice that for this one, unlike small U that we did uh, a few portals ago, uh, for this one the chest is on the side with the lower pillar of obby. Um, so again, like half portal, there will usually be sand dug out here uh, for the lava and we just dig on the side opposite to that, on the side with the smaller obby pillar for the chest. Um, next we have room portal 9. Um, as I said before, this gets confused a lot with half portal when it's buried. Uh, but the main difference between the two is you'll see that half portal has a stone slab sticking out and this one doesn't. Um, so yeah, and then to find the chest for room portal 9, so here you would notice no uh, stone slab sticking out, and it's just in line with this pillar. You get one, two, three, and then on the fourth one is your chest. 
Uh, next up we have CDOT uh, over in pool 10. Um, this one doesn't have much of you already placed for you, but has lava again, so it's pretty completable still. Again, they'll usually be like the sand dugout where the sand has fallen into lava, and the chest is just in line with the chiseled brick. Um, starting with the large RPs now, we have large RP1. Uh, there's two gold blocks at the top, and the chest is just in line with um, the block next to the stair. That's all you're looking for. Block next to the stair, in line with here. And again, you can tell the front by which side the stone slab sticks out. So if I dig all the way down here, there's the chest. Um, the second large RP, we have large RP2. Uh, two gold blocks at the top, and the chest is at the back. But we still identify it using the stone slab. But you can tell the difference between these two by... Um, this one has a stair next to the stone slab at the front. Uh, and then the lineup for this, you're just looking for the two gold blocks, and you go one to the right, and then uh, four back. So one, two, three, four. And then there's your chest. Uh, and then finally we have Big Bertha. This one has six gold blocks, and then the chest. Uh, I'll show you the location of the six gold blocks now. There's one up here, two back here, one in the lava, like right in the middle. There's one in the lava here. Um, and then the other one is diagonal from the first gold block. Or you could look at it as one out from this stone slab. Um, yeah, and then to find the chest for when it's buried, it's pretty difficult. Uh, I'll use a lineup from the gold blocks. You want to go four back again like large rp2 so one two three four and then from here you want to count uh it's six across including this block um but you want to like move over five so one two three four five and then dig down and there's your chest um so that was all of the uh rp chest and gold block locations thanks for watching